We got another Kareem John Pierre video for that for that head top. And watch how you speak on my name. It's your boy KWTB, and we're live right now. We got another video about Kareem Jean Pierre discussing some stuff about what's been going on at the latest White House press briefing. Shout out to everyone who's been supporting your boy. This was five days ago. I just want to let everybody know this. But I found this to be very interesting because it ties into the rest of this video. This is going to be Kamala Harris, the, the American border czar. Kamala Harris, or Kamala, 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 Kamala Harris, the American border czar if you enjoy the video please consider hitting the like share and the subscribe button we got two videos and we have a very important document that we want to show you let's get right into it yeah handed this card with talking points about the vice president and the border do you know who's handing this out i have no idea you probably should ask her campaign so the first one says vice president harris was never appointed border czar there's never been such a position. It doesn't exist. Never. Shout out to Peter Ducey. This is the journalist uh, that's speaking, or the correspondent speaking right now. Let's see what he has. Let's see what else he has to say. Why are Democrats so sensitive about the vice president and the border? Why are Republicans so sensitive about actually not owning up to them getting in the way of a border deal? Why? Why won't they own up to that? Why won't they own up to the last president told them not to move forward? It was a bipartisan deal on just right there, available to them, and they voted twice against it. Twice against it. Why are they so sensitive to moving forward and actually dealing on an issue that majority of Americans care about is dealing with what's going on at the border? I would like to say that I think there was some kind of issue <clears throat> where in that border policy had something to do with giving money to Ukraine and Israel and a bunch of other places. Or I don't even know if Israel was there was like a, I don't even know if that October 7th thing was even. I, 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 well, definitely have to go fact check this. But to my understanding, to my knowledge. There was an issue because there was something in that bill that the Republicans did not like. They did not like how there was some gender studies going on in Afghanistan or something like that. And it was had something to do with giving more money out to folks that like are not Americans. <laughs> just but just leave it simple as that. Like fact check all of this. Go tap in. Let's continue. Do you think that the border would be less of a talking point now if there was less migration to the border say if somebody had addressed root causes of migration uh, yeah. sooner Wait, hold on. interesting question solving those root problems sooner a second did you not hear the beginning of my it was i know there were a lot of toppers but one of the toppers i talked about what we're seeing at the border it's down by 55 percent <laughs> what are you seeing at the border you're seeing that is down 55 percent how is that possible <laughs> what has this lady even been to the border before this is crazy not because of republicans and congress and what they did it's because mm. what this president and this vice president did they what joe biden did they moved forward and took actions to deal with what's going on at the border republicans continue continue to block getting resources to the border patrol agents they continue to block actually dealing with an immigration system. So yes, we are going to debunk the false, uh, the false, uh, you know, characterization of the vice president. She was not a border czar, and it's not just us. Independent fact checkers have said the same thing that that did not exist, and that is not true. And a different so this whole, this whole, this. Thank you, Corrine. Uh
someone that he likes. He's someone he thinks will foot the bill. I would, in all other things being equal, pick the Hispanic because we should look like America in the court. Right. But do not suggest that you should only pick a woman, a black Hispanic. I've made no decision except one. That person will be the first black woman ever nominated to the United States Supreme Court. Quote unquote, border czar. Vice President Harris was not a border czar. Meantime, Vice President and border czar Kamala Harris facing some backlash. What he said about Harris and immigration was not true. She was never appointed border czar. Uh, and this will be her first visit to the uh, U.S.-Mexico border region since she was appointed as the border czar by President Biden. People going to have to counter the misinformation. You already hear folks talking about the border czar. She wasn't the border czar. President Biden tapped Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, to be the border czar. Now, she wasn't the border czar. That's what Republicans uh, labeled her. They were very critical of Kamala Harris, especially in her role as border czar. Now what she's up against is folks lying about her border record, calling her a border czar. Kamala Harris, who was appointed as the border czar. The Biden team didn't declare her the border czar. They wanted her to work on kind of the root causes of immigration. Mm -hmm. There has been so much criticism against Kamala Harris. You know, she was the, the border czar. Calling her sort of the border czar, uh, which wasn't necessarily the case. So the border, if they weren't planning to address it in a major way, do not make her your border czar. She met with some of the Northern Triangle countries, but nothing has effectively changed. All right, guys, welcome to 1984. George Orwell, shout out to the homie, Black Conservative Perspective. Let's get right into it. It feels like that is the world that we are living in, okay? It is extremely Orwellian, and we have another Orwellian story here to talk about as the liberal media and the Democrats try to rewrite history, okay? They're trying to convince the American people that up is down, down is up, and what we all know happened in the past never actually really happened. Like, for example, Kamala Harris being the border czar. She was never actually border czar. Border czar, uh, which was not something that was formally conveyed upon her. She's been labeled incorrectly by some members of the right as the border czar. Republicans named her the border czar. Republicans have always exaggerated what her job was at the border. Republicans, again, have labeled her the border czar. But that's not exactly what President Biden asked her to do. She was never put in charge of the border. That wasn't actually her task, not to secure it, but to address the underlying roots of migration. She was charged with leading the administration's efforts to address the root causes of migration. The root causes of migration to the U.S. The root causes. Root causes. Root causes. The root causes. Root causes. Of immigration. We also want to point out that right now apprehension numbers continue to decrease in our country, especially over the last few months. And I just want to note that border crossings have been going down. And illegal border crossings are lower right now. Migrant crossings continue to drop. Border crossings are way down. Border crossings are down. Okay, that didn't happen. Okay, she was not in charge of the border. Uh, even though we do have proof and evidence in the form of news articles, the mainstream liberal media, White House documentation, we have all the evidence that yes, Kamala was in fact in charge of the border. However, Kamala decided that she did not want to continue to really be border czar because she is a illegal immigration radical she doesn't believe that illegal immigration should even be illegal right she doesn't think that it's a crime so of course she does not want to handle the task of closing the border because she doesn't want to close border right which again is part of the reason why we've had the most disastrous border situation in american history now, we just read that congressional document there stating, like, this is, like, the worst this has been for a while. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's pretty It's it's pretty crazy. My thing is, it's like, I, f I feel like she's been very silent on the border, like, the whole time, the whole three and a half something years. I haven't really seen her make any effort to, like, do anything about the border. She went down there to say, don't come. <laughs> don't come and then just somehow millions of people just decide to pull up in the past like three years since that happened there's caravans migrating and all the other stuff is just insane <clears throat> and it just makes you think like does this lady really care about her job for one does she really care about the border does she care about the american people like there's so many questions to like why is her behavior not reflecting what's going on at the border? Or why is the border not being solved? Why is this issue not being solved? Uh, how, like, she was vice president this whole time. Like, what has she been doing?
get right back into it. Okay? And this is one of the issues that is hurting the Biden administration the most. Now it's going to hurt Kamala Harris as a presidential candidate because she was, in fact, the border czar. She was in charge, okay? She failed at her assignment, okay? That's what happened. Now, Democrats know this. The mainstream liberal media knows this, which is why they're trying to rewrite history. They're trying to do that for every attack that Republicans have against Kamala. They're trying to change the narrative by, again, rewriting history so that they can fact check Republicans and say that, oh, yeah, well, that wasn't really true. That was a lie, which is, again, what they're already doing. He said she was Joe Biden's border czar. She wasn't. She was never put in charge of the border. She was given a much more limited assignment to lead a so-called root causes diplomatic effort trying to address the reasons uh, in Guatemala, uh, El Salvador and Honduras that people choose to migrate. Now, many Republicans scoff at this kind of fact check. They're like, there were a bunch of articles back in 2021 that called her border czar. Frankly, those articles were wrong. And if you look at CNN's own coverage, not to toot our own horn, but you'll see that the White House and Harris's office consistently as early as early 21 push back on that framing flashback very quickly what do you think about kamala harris she's supposed to be out front on these issues she has not been what's your takeaway from that well interestingly they released a readout this week between her and a member of the cabinet homeland security alejandro mayorkas and they talked about the incident of the uh, border patrol on horseback who aggressively confronted the haitian migrants so it show it was an example of the white house showing she was connected to the issue in some way but she has repeatedly said that she's focusing on the root causes of migration and that the border is a separate matter what we are learning and seeing in real time is that you really can't separate the two yeah i really can right you cannot separate the two this lady's out of her mind solve the border first and maybe the migration problem won't be a thing or you just solve the border problem first you solve the border problem first, and then you solve the migration problem by staying in Mexico and getting your stuff cleared so you can come in the right way. The right way. And not this is been a problem. For yeah, Orwellian stuff right in front of our face. Okay, this is what the Mockingbird media is doing. But the good thing is that we do have some journalists, like for example, Peter Ducey, who did confront Kranz Jean Pierre, the affirmative action press secretary, on this idea that Kamala Harris was not border czar. And that's what we watched at the beginning of this live, folks. Um, we're going to skip past this because that's literally what I, I played the video for you. Um, let's get to like probably the last part of this. Shout out to the homie George here. I don't want to take too much away from like... I want you guys to go check out his his video. Um, I want to get to a good part here. Let's see what he's he's reacting to here. It was expected that this resolution would probably pass along party lines because this was obviously a Republican effort to condemn Harris and start to build this case of disagreement with her over policy. Uh, but I don't think anyone was really expecting six House Democrats. And that's a fair number, just given how slim the numbers are here in the House of Representatives to vote for a resolution that is condemning the presumptive nominee of their own party. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big deal that's a huge deal okay and this right here cuts through the bs from the mainstream level media because again these democrats are in swing districts okay so they're in districts where hey i just can't gaslight the people and lie to them about what's going on i can't just get on board with the extremism of kamala harris and the fact that she quite literally believes in open borders i cannot vote against condemning the disastrous job that she is responsible for, right? So you would think that if the Republicans were lying, right? <laughs> if everybody was lying, all the mainstream liberal media articles in 2021 were wrong about Kamala Harris's role, then why in the world did six Democrats vote to condemn the party nominee for her role when it comes to the border? Mm. It doesn't make sense. Like, you rarely get these situations in Congress where you have uh, Republicans and Democrats coming together to agree on something, unless right. they want to give a handout to corporate America, Ukraine, or Israel. But outside of that, <laughs> you know, hey, when it comes to stuff like this, they really don't agree too often, right? Um, and you having six Democrats coming out and going crazy. on record, voting record, saying that, yes, Kamala Harris was not just borders are, <clears throat> but she also was terrible at her job, right? We do not agree with how she handled that situation, a border situation. 
Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. It really is. That's a huge acknowledgement. Thing to note here, which is we have seen some House Republicans in recent days start to take aim at Harris over her race. We have heard them use the phrase DEI hire and things of that nature. And one of the things we've learned our Rachel Scott and I are reporting that sources tell us that in a closed door House Republican meeting earlier this week, Speaker Mike Johnson told them focus on the policy. Don't focus on personal attacks. See, and this here's the problem. Here's the problem, right? And this is, again, the issue with Republicans being so damn weak and so afraid of the Democrats. No matter what Republicans do, Democrats are going to make this race about race, right? They're going to make it about identity politics, no matter what they do, okay? I've already showed you guys videos of Republicans, conservatives saying, yeah, Kamala Harris is incompetent, but yet liberal black women and Democrats say, oh, well, that's racist, right? It's racist to call Kamala Harris incompetent. So it doesn't matter what phrase you use or what term you use to characterize Kamala Harris's inability to do the job, even though everybody knows, right? America knows that this woman is incompetent. They're going right. to say you're racist, okay? <laughs> DI is not a racial attack. DI is an attack on the fact that Kamala Harris was chosen because of her race and her gender, not because of her qualifications, right? But again, they want to try to handicap Republicans into not being able to use one of their most effective lines of attack, which is questioning Kamala Harris's competence and her judgment, right? And this is why they're called it racist and they're falling for it, hook, line, and sinker because our leadership, unfortunately, is weak when it comes to these issues. Instead of standing up for the truth and just acknowledge it for what it is, Biden chose her because she's black and she's a woman and this is what he listed as his main qualifications, okay? Instead of just saying that, no, 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 these people are being punked into being silent about it and trying to pretend as if that's not a substantive thing to talk about when it is. Questioning why Kamala Harris was picked <clears throat> is a substantive conversation. This is what Republicans don't understand. You can tie her incompetence back to the results. Like, for example, they want to deny that uh, the border uh, was Kamala Harris's a uh, problem, right? Oh, well, she was tasked with stemming the root causes of illegal immigration. Okay, well, if you want to frame it that way, okay, if you want to say, well, the border wasn't her fault, then again, why is it that she's in charge she of the immigration? Job, right? Why didn't she stem the root causes, right? Why did she fix the root causes? If that's <laughs> so what she was insane. Tasked with? This is so insane. So again, even if she wasn't tasked <laughs> with protecting the southern border, she still was tasked with trying we'll to stem the flow the immigration. of immigration into the country <laughs> in which she's failed. She was an epic disaster. Man, I've heard enough, man. Shout out to the homie BCP, AK guy George Foreman out there killing it. He out there killing it. I'm going to go leave the link for this video in the description below. Make sure you go tapping with him if you agree with any of that. I don't agree with everything that everyone says. I don't agree with everything that, that he says in every video. But I tell you, he's got some good points when he's got some good points. The guy is out there hitting it. <laughs> he's, hitting them out of, he's hitting them out of the ballpark. It's insane. I mean, look. Okay, it is. If she wasn't in charge of the border, then she's in charge of the migration problem. Then, then okay, if that's the case, if that's what folks are going to use, then why hasn't it been solved? And then you're going to say, well, it's been solved. It's been cut down to fifty percent or whatever it is. There shouldn't be anybody getting in here. Anybody. Like, we need real policy, we need real action, real plans that is being talked to and displayed out to the American people. It, it, we need real, real action for this because it's insane how many people are coming over here. And it's insane for these folks to try to, like, cheap out that the fact that this lady was in charge of this root cause of the root causes of this issue and it doesn't seem like any of that has been solved there's still drug dealers bringing in all kinds of uh, drugs there's still uh little folks and, and folks being trafficked uh over the border there's still gang members and, and violent criminals and our people and all that other stuff rolling up through our borders how has any of this been solved 
Where's this border wall? Where's the cameras? Where's the people that are on the border wall? Where's the discussions with Mexico and these other border um, countries or territories, whatever, discussing how we can uh, have this border safer? And, and keep these people out completely. And they just go through the vetted. We, they are highly vetted. We get all the bad folks out who are trying to do harm to folks here. Um, and then we keep the folks that want to do great things for this country. You know, that are, that are beneficial. They're smart. They're hardworking. They love families. They love the United States. They respect the United States and they respect the flag and what this country represents. That, that needs to be put on like full display. But anyway, that's what I think about all of this. That is my perspective of this. This is this guy's perspectives of this, aka George Foreman. We just did our little segment here of the American border czar, Kamala Harris. If you folks enjoyed this segment, please hit the like, share, and the subscribe button. I'm going to leave all the links for all the stuff that we watch and the article for the congressional um, a document in the description below and i'm gonna leave uh his his information in here as well let me know what you folks think right it's it's crazy it's crazy times that we're in right now um i mean it's it's kind of hard for this lady to say that she had nothing to do with the problems that we're facing here when she's been the vice president this whole time like if you want to win you really need to start hitting these real policies instead of this political or this uh, identity stuff. I, I'm people are over that. We want real policies that are saving, securing, and making America way better than what we've been going through. Because right now it's been crazy. It's your boy Cat WTB, hit me up.